At first, there was an interminably thick mass of issues. This mass went through an impact that achieved the course of action of particles, stars, and frameworks that we can see today. For a long time, this has been the explanation introduced by physicists. In any case, Later research has introduced another perspective that proposes the universe doesn't have as early a start as at first acknowledged. Rather, it very well may be part of a repetitive cycle in which the universe goes through a movement of patterns of augmentation and pressure, possibly in a circle. Brian Cox, a lofty physicist, has a questionable outlook on the hypothesis of an ancient infinite explosion, fighting that something can't rise out of nothing. This investigating adds an enchanting part to the discussion. Besides, research from the James Webb Telescope has uncovered information that conflicts with the plausibility that the tremendous explosion signified evidently the beginning of the universe. This prompts the focal question, in case the immense blast was not the beginning of the universe, then what was? Join us on this trip to the beginning stages of the universe, where we will examine the edges of the gigantic blast to reply to this request. Seriously, if you are excited about staying up to date with news about the universe and its ecological factors, become involved with our channel. Hit the like button, share this video to contact more people, and turn on the warning toll. Analysts have cultivated a point-by-point -point perception of the universe in its earliest stages, known as the hypothesis of the universe's beginning. As indicated by this model, the universe was significantly more humble, more sweltering, and denser than it is today around 13.8 billion years ago. During that period, all of the parts that make up our world were molded in a question of minutes. In this theory, our universe, counting stars and galaxies, was once essentially as little as a peach and had an unimaginably high temperature of over a quadrillion degrees. Inquisitively, this astounding story changes reliably with all ongoing insights. Stargazers have inspected everything from the rest of electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to the flood of the lightest parts and have viewed that as everything agrees with the gauges of the enormous blast. To the best of our information, this depiction fits the truth of our universe perfectly. In any case, no matter what its reasonable power, we understand that the hypothesis of the universe's starting point isn't the complete picture. There's an unaccounted for piece of this puzzle and that part is a perception of the chief depictions of the universe. This challenge is expected in enormous part to the obstructions of the genuine speculations we at present use. The blend of general relativity and high-energy particle physics outfits us with an at-any-rate significant hypothetical structure. As we dive further into the basic depictions of the universe, the mathematical multifaceted design increments essentially arriving at a point where our progressing methodologies can't provide significant solutions. One indication of this inconvenience is the presence of an idiosyncrasy, an imprint of unending thickness close to the beginning of the enormous blast. This thought proposes, in an exacting sense, that the universe was once compacted into an endlessly little and thick state, which appears to be absurd. To address this challenge, we really need to research new frontiers in material science, cultivate a procedure that survives these imperatives, and provides a more complete understanding of the essential instance of the universe. Our progressing instruments and hypothetical systems are not adequately vigorous to address this test, so we want to cultivate new physical science that can incorporate and make sense of gravity and the other key powers at incredibly high energies. This is unequivocally where string theory comes into the picture. This theory attempts to be a real model fit for uniting gravity with the other essential powers, especially at super high energies. Basically, string theory sets that it can give a clarification for the essential depictions of the universe. Inside string theory arises the possibility of an aeon, which takes its name from the Greek word meaning arrangement or age. This idea suggests that the Big Bang, as far as we may be concerned, was the outcome of an earlier event, recommending that it was not unquestionably the beginning. Rather, it was perhaps a piece of a continuous cooperation. Widening the possibility of an ionic universe has prompted the improvement of a connected theory called cyclic cosmology. Albeit the plausibility of a cyclic universe has been considered for quite a long time, string theory gives a strong basis for this idea. In the framework of cyclic cosmology, the universe functions like it continually influences between immense impacts and implodes in a ceaseless cycle that broadens boundlessly into the past and future. This theory of cyclic cosmology was proposed by the popular physicist Roger Penrose, 
who was awarded the Nobel Prize. Penrose was charmed by an astonishing mathematical connection between the early universe, depicted by outrageous thickness in power and smallness during the gigantic explosion, and the future state of the universe, which is depicted as freezing, broadened, and absent any and all matter. The speculation proposes that these two states become mathematically undefined when pushed to the limits. Notwithstanding appearing to be confounding, the complete shortfall of matter could be the fundamental power behind the creation of all the matter we see today. As indicated by this perspective, the tremendous explosion begins from what remains almost enigmatically after all the matter in the universe has been consumed by black holes that eventually scatter into scattered photons in a huge void. The universe rises up out of what, from another viewpoint, basically approaches nothingness. Albeit this nothingness is still a form of something, an actual universe, albeit a vacant one. The mystery lies in how a similar state can be deciphered as both a cold void universe and a thick universe, depending on the perspective. The key to this grasping lies in a complex mathematical technique called the conformal change, which is a numerical change that changes the size of an item while safeguarding its shape. Roger Penrose showed that the cold void state and the hot thick state can be connected through the scale change, altering their spatiotemporal plans in spite of their disparities in size. Anyway, Penrose battles that the idea of time loses its significance under these cutoff conditions of being. In cyclic cosmology, the arrangement of occasions happens from an old cold state to a youthful hot state. The presence of the hot and thick state is the outcome of the previous cold and void state. However, this causal relationship doesn't follow the regular idea of time, since in these outrageous states both size and time lose their standard implications. The cold void state and the hot thick state exist on discrete plans, which means that from the perspective of an eyewitness inside its own period of time, the cold empty state would continue endlessly. Physics and theory are entwined in this space of cyclic cosmology. It provides speculative and itemized clarifications for the start of these cycles. Anyway, whether or not Penrose's thoughts gain support in cosmological progresses, a deeper philosophical request still waits about the start of actual reality itself. How did these cycles appear? This leads us to examine the support for the presence of something other than nothing, which is one of the key powerful requests for our motivations. We will zero in on clarifications inside the space of physics, and there are three potential results to consider in investigating the starting points of these cycles. First, there may be no great explanation at all. Second, there could be an interminable series of cycles where each cycle addresses an alternate universe, and the beginning quantum state of each universe is somehow still affected by some piece of the universe that went before it. Lastly, there is the choice of a single cycle in a repeating universe, where the beginning of the cycle is made sense of by some part of its own end. These conceivable outcomes are engaging since they stay away from the requirement for uncaused occasions and provide a more perplexing clarification within the genuine structure in the area of physics. Penrose proposes the possibility of a ceaseless series of cycles affected by his understanding of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, an actual framework exists in various states all the while until it is observed, so, all in all, it haphazardly falls into a solitary state. Penrose recommends that each cycle is impacted by random quantum occasions that lead to varieties between cycles. This thought opens up promising opportunities for testable physics, as it proposes the possibility of recognizing unobtrusive follows or abnormalities in the leftover portion radiation of the enormous blast. The journey to comprehend the starting points and nature of the universe has been a crucial quest for human interest and logical request for hundreds of years. From old philosophical theories to present-day cosmological theories, mankind has reliably tried to unwind the mysteries of presence itself. With regards to contemporary space science and cosmology, the examination of cosmic beginnings has prompted critical revelations and fascinating hypothetical structures that challenge our key getting it of time, space, and matter. One of the getting through questions that has spellbound physicists and cosmologists alike is the nature of the universe before the Big Bang. While the hypothesis of how things came to be has given a convincing clarification for the development of the universe from a hot, thick state to its current extensive design, it leaves open the topic of what went before this great occasion, on the off chance that anything. The idea of a pre Big Bang period raises critical philosophical and logical suggestions, pushing the limits of our insight and figuring out. A few hypothetical models have been proposed to address this question, 
each contributing special bits of knowledge and viewpoints on the early universe. One such thought is that of the multiverse, which sets the presence of an immense ensemble of universes, each with its own particular actual properties and crucial constants. In the multiverse structure, our universe is only one among many, each rising up out of various beginning conditions and represented by its own set of actual regulations. The idea of a multiverse emerges naturally from certain translations of quantum mechanics and cosmological inflation theory. Agreeing to inflationary cosmology, the quick outstanding extension of space-time in the early universe could have prompted the making of pocket universes inside a bigger multiversal scene. Each pocket universe would have its special properties molded by arbitrary quantum changes during the inflationary epoch. While the multiverse speculation stays speculative and testing to test tentatively, it offers an interesting answer for the calibrating issue in cosmology. The evident unlikelihood that the basic constants of nature are impeccably tuned to permit the presence of complex designs, for example, cosmic systems, stars, and life itself. Another convincing thought that challenges ordinary thoughts of astronomical beginnings is that of timeless inflation, proposed inside the framework of inflationary cosmology. Timeless inflation proposes that the universe goes through a boundless succession of inflationary stages, each bringing about new areas of space-time with possibly unique actual regulations. In this situation, our perceptible universe is only one of incalculable locales inside an interminably growing enormous froth. The idea of everlasting inflation raises significant inquiries about the idea of time and causality in the multiverse. If inflationary air pockets constantly give birth to new universes, the possibility of a particular beginning or extreme start turns out to be progressively subtle. Rather, the universe shows up as a dynamic and ever-developing substance embedded inside a bigger astronomical embroidery of inflationary development. Lately, headways in hypothetical material science have likewise begun interest in elective cosmological models that challenge the ordinary account of infinite beginnings. For instance, a few specialists have investigated the plausibility of a cyclic universe, where the Big Bang is definitely not a particular occasion but maybe one stage in a perpetual pattern of unceasing development and compression. As indicated by cyclic cosmology, the universe goes through progressive cycles of creation, development, and obliteration, each closure in a major crunch followed by another enormous detonation. The cyclic universe speculation draws motivation from antiquated cosmological thoughts and current hypothetical structures like string theory. Inside the structure of string theory, which sets that central particles are not point-like items but may be little vibrating strings of energy, the idea of a cyclic universe arises naturally from specific details of the hypothesis. String theory proposes that the universe might exist in higher-dimensional space-time, where patterns of extension and withdrawal are a result of the transaction between crucial powers. While the cyclic universe theory remains speculative and faces huge difficulties in terms of observational proof and hypothetical consistency, it addresses a strong endeavor to accommodate quantum mechanics with general relativity on cosmological scales by proposing a persistent pattern of vast recharging. Cyclic cosmology offers an alluring probability of a universe without a definitive start or end, where each cycle expands upon the remainders of its ancestor. Notwithstanding hypothetical models, observational cosmology has also provided essential bits of knowledge into the early universe and its development over grandiose time. The disclosure of the Grandiose Microwave Foundation, CMB, radiation in the 20th century gave convincing proof for the theory of the universe's origin, offering a preview of the universe when it was only 380,000 years old. Definite estimations of the CMB by satellites like the Planck Observatory have empowered researchers to plan varieties in temperature and thickness across the early universe with noteworthy accuracy. Additionally, observational cosmology has shed light on the huge scale structure of the universe uncovering the complex web of galaxies, bunches, and enormous fibers that length billions of light years. By concentrating on the circulation of worlds and estimating their red shifts, cosmologists have had the option to follow the development history of the universe and surmise its age, composition, and destiny. One of the most captivating revelations in perception cosmology is the presence of dull energy, a strange type of energy that overruns the universe and is driving its sped-up extension. First construed from cosmic explosion perceptions in the last part of the 1990s, dull energy comprises roughly 68% of the all-out energy thickness of the universe, making it the prevailing part of the astronomical energy spending plan. 
the presence of dim energy presents a critical test to our current comprehension of major physical science, as its starting point and nature remain inadequately understood. A few hypotheses propose that dim energy may be a manifestation of vacuum energy anticipated by quantum field theory, while others propose changes to Einstein's hypothesis of general relativity to account for the notice speed increase of the universe. In accordance with observational endeavors, trial physicists are effectively looking for new particles and cooperations that could give signs to the essential idea of dull energy. Moreover, other enormous secrets, such as the Huge Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN, point to test the wildernesses of molecule physics by impacting protons at uncommon energies, possibly uncovering new physical science past the standard model. Moreover, progressions in astrophysical instrumentation have empowered researchers to investigate the universe across different frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma beams. Observatories such as the Atacama Large millimeter submillimeter Array ALMA and the Hubble Space Telescope have altered how we might interpret star arrangement, cosmic system advancement, and the infinite conveyance of dull matter. Looking forward, the up-and-coming age of observatories, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, vows to give new bits of knowledge into the early universe and its key constituents. These cutting-edge instruments will empower analysts to concentrate on the principal cosmic systems, test the epoch of reionization, and quest for marks of early-stage gravitational waves left over from the Big Bang. In conclusion, the journey to understand the starting points of the universe addresses one of the greatest scholarly difficulties within recent memory. From antiquated fantasies and philosophical requests to modern logical hypotheses and observational revelations, mankind's investigation of enormous beginnings has yielded significant experiences into the nature of reality itself. As we proceed to push the limits of information and investigation, new hypothetical systems, observational strategies, and trial headways will undoubtedly enlighten the major secrets of presence and our place in the universe. At first, there was an immensely dense mass of issues. This mass underwent an impact that initiated the formation of particles, stars, and frameworks that we see today. For a long time, this has been the explanation provided by physicists. However, later research has presented a different perspective, suggesting that the universe may not have had as early a start as initially believed. Instead, it could be part of a repetitive cycle in which the universe goes through a series of expansions and contractions. Brian Cox, a renowned physicist, questions the traditional Big Bang theory, arguing that something cannot emerge from nothing. This view adds an intriguing layer to the discussion. Furthermore, findings from the James Webb Telescope have revealed data that challenges the idea that the Big Bang marked the universe's inception, raising the central question. If the Big Bang was not the beginning of the universe, then what was? Exploring the origins of the universe takes us into the realm of the Big Bang theory, which describes the universe's early state as significantly hotter, denser, and smaller than it is now, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. During this time, all the components that make up our world formed within minutes. In this model, our universe, including stars and galaxies, was once as small as a peach with temperatures exceeding a quadrillion degrees. This astonishing narrative is continually updated with new discoveries. Astronomers have studied the remnants of electromagnetic radiation from the early universe and the production of the lightest elements, finding consistent evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. To date, this model aligns perfectly with our observations of the universe. Yet, despite its empirical strength, the Big Bang theory doesn't tell the whole story. A piece of this puzzle remains unaccounted for, linked to our fundamental understanding of the universe. This challenge is largely due to the limitations of the theories we currently rely on. The combination of general relativity and high-energy particle physics provides a framework, but it fails to deliver comprehensive answers.